we had another question about purity seals on my space marines i do something very simple very basic it is a few added steps but it's a very generic um interesting approach i actually very rarely will do like the scripture or the or try and scribble in any kind of litanies or whatever text you want to call them i won't do much of the black lines i'll just do the uh the very beige looking parchment uh, so here we have the purity seal right down here now it's hard to see because this is off of a basic primed dummy model this is just one of our many dummies that i like to use um, normally when i'm done doing the armor of the model like this you'll see um, the purity seal won't just be the race the the basic primer color um it's it's typically gonna just be whatever um whatever we've we've brought in ahead of it so we could do it on this i'd rather do it off of the dummy model um, my process is essentially Xandri Dust, or you could even instead use Iroko, Iroko, however you want to pronounce it. You can, want, you can use one of the other of these. I prefer Xandri Dust, especially with my um, dropper bottle. I've thinned it down a little bit already. So you give it a good shake. We're not going to need a whole lot, so I'll just put one small drop onto the palette. I'm not even using a wet palette for this, although you should, or could. But for one quick and easy purity seal, I didn't want to go that that wild. Also, one thing to keep in mind as your purity seals are more than likely the last thing you're going to do. You're going to want to be very, very gentle with how you do this. Uh, because you don't want to get any of this paint onto other parts of the model. In my case, because it's just a dummy, it doesn't matter. So, first thin coat on there over the black. Now we can actually see where we're painting. Um, what I'm also going to do is come in I drop some of and red into the seal uh, just giving the Xandri dust a chance to dry again don't need very much paint I'll let that dry. I'm also kind of, I kind of over painted to the to the side of the model too, which is fine. Come back to the Xandri dust now that I've cleaned off the paintbrush, because this should be dry enough to apply a second coat. All right, so we got it started. All right, so that that's just the that's just the start, right? We're, we're gonna let these dry real quick. It's warm enough in here that this is drying pretty quick. But um, Mephiston red and Xandri dust to start the seal. 
you let that dry. What we do with the Xandri dust is actually go over it with Agrax Earthshade just to mess it all up. I like to actually, believe it or not, I'm going to use coffee stains to my advantage. Um, I do like dirtying up the parchment that way. With the seal though, we're going to drop Wazdaka red. And again, not going to need very much. And what I'd like to do is hit the raised surfaces, but I'm not going to dry brush because I'm assuming that the model's already complete. Dry brushing just risks getting extra paint in other places, so... We just hit the edge of the seal. This is not fun. but it's helpful for me just to get that added layer. Let me see if I can get you some better zoom here. Actually using the side of the brush to make sure that I don't go into the recess to help get just just a slightly brighter layer. It also gave some time for the Xandri dust to dry. Alright, so we're gonna get Agrax Earthshade. I can use the same brush because it's a small piece. I would normally switch to my wash brush, but because it's still a small model, or still a very small section, this should be good enough. In fact, we're going to go a little bit heavier. That'll take a second to dry. Now, we're going to grab our Carebrick Crimson as well. And the whole point of that is for me to fill up the purity seal. And I don't mean like flood it. Put a little bit extra in there. I'm gonna clean the brush off. And then I'm gonna pull a little bit out. Make sure I got you in focus here. So effectively, I'm darkening the recess with that purity seal. So you take whatever base red you want then you take the, a brighter shade of that, and then you drop the uh, red wash in there. And that would, that's going to do it for the seal, but I still have to wait for the Agrax Earthshade to dry. It's mostly there. I think it's actually there enough to make the next part kind of obvious. Um, I really would like to try and dry brush this one, but it's such a small piece that it's not worth the risk. Um... So we're going to take, uh, we're going to go straight, uh, we're going to go to Iroko.
It's only a slight tint different from Xandri dust in my opinion. A little bit. Clean most of it off so we're almost going to be dry brushing but not fully. And we're just gonna... Just quickly hit the model so we don't get all of the surfaces. So it is kind of dirty. Then we're going to go up one more layer. This is going to be a very, very drastic jump to birch. Another scale paint. You could do this with things like uh, Skull White or... I um, can't remember the other shade. Ushapti Bone. You could go with Ushapti Bone or maybe not, not like a Skull White. Ushapti Bone would be a good transition. Not as drastic as birch, but... And we're going to try and do this even lighter. Right, so I'm gonna clear my thumb off. As you can tell, I've done a couple of different paint sessions today. My thumb is basically my odometer or speedometer or whatever mileage tracker for the day. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. And yeah, I think I like how little is left on here. And again, leaving it kind of dirty. And that's a purity seal. I mean, it all depends on how you want to do it. You could have left it at Iroko. I've done that before with like a, a darker, more tanned kind of parchment. You can make it brighter like I did here. Um, there are definitely more detail ways. I, I just think... At tabletop quality, if you were to lay this down just on the table, and I fix the zoom here, or fix your focal point, like just laying down on the table, there you go, that's a sufficient purity seal, that looks pretty clean. And even at this distance at tabletop quality, you're not gonna really see that there's lines of text on it. So very simple, very basic, I did that in a matter of minutes, guys. Um, Imagine doing that on a bunch of them across a, a unit of Space Marines. So there you go. That's how I do purity seals. If you have any other questions or any requests for additional tutorials that you would like to see how I accomplish uh, certain kind of styles of painting, uh, leave a comment underneath the video, send me an email, reach out to me on Discord, however you want to reach out, and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching.